Man, so let's talk about these Boss next tone amplifiers. Mm. I've got the stage 40 watts here. Cool. I've got the Artist 80 watt version. They're really, really cool. It's a new concept from Boss. Yeah. Uh, you know, typically a, no a normal amp would have like one power amp circuit in there, uh, which dictates the how how the, how the amp feels and responds. When you play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all of that stuff. So this has got four analog class A B power amp circuits oh, cool. built into it. Uh, so you got your 6v6s, you got yep. your 6L6s, you got your EL84s, and you got your EL34s in there. So that kind of American clean stuff right through the kind of British kind of rock stuff, I guess. Absolutely. So we've got using the latest evolution of Tube Logic, um, using some discrete analog solid state circuitry, which means that every time you change the power amp selection, it totally revoices the amp from input to output. And that's really cool because then it gives you that authentic feel, you know, from wh whichever guitar you use, if you use Telecaster, the pickups and yeah. the touch and the feel and all that stuff. Every kind of nuance is coming through. Exactly, like you would when you're using the actual yeah. 6v6 amplifier, for instance. Cool. And that's really, really cool. Yeah, I'm really digging this kind of lower wattage 6v6 thing at the minute. It's giving you that kind of sponginess and, you know, that kind of really kind of nice, clean kind of thing happening. That Princeton kind of Yeah, kind absolutely, of yeah. Kind absolutely. of really sound. It's Sounds super great. nice, yeah. and I'm I'm on the EL84s, you know, so I get more of that kind of voxy yeah, yeah. type thing, and and it's 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 really cool how when you when you set it to to the tube, yeah. how or to that power section, mm. how it actually inspires you to play those kind of things. Yeah, like you, you would you, do when you plug into you, like a voxy. You, you play the amp exactly, you? so like this. Sounds it's sweet, just, man. Yeah, it sounds, but it feels, yeah. it feels like it as well, you know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. So you did some sound examples yesterday yeah. with the amps, right? And you used some pedals as well? Yeah. What was that like? Really cool. I used the SD1W, um, pushing at the front end of the EL34. It's a little bit kind of more martial, I guess. Um, and the front end reacts exactly how you'd want the front yeah. end of a tube amp to react, to be honest. That nice, natural kind of compression and sustain. Um, so we've got the clean tone. Yeah. I'm kick that with the pedal. <laughs> That's nice, man. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So the first thing you'll notice is it's set up incredibly intuitively. It's just like a normal amp, to be honest. There's no kind of menus even to kind of cycle through. It's just pretty straightforward and very, yeah, kind of easy to get your head around. Yeah, and it's, it's, there's two. So there's the stage, which is 40 watts. Yeah. There's the artist, which is 80 watts. Yeah. And they've both got one 12-inch speaker in them. Yeah. Very light, very portable, and powerful enough, basically, for any scenario. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a two-channel amp, and we've got a really cool couple of features as well with the boost and the tone switches on the top and the foot switch. Um, pretty self-explanatory, really. With the boost, you're going to get some extra level or some distortion. And with the tone, kind of either fattens things up, or if you're on the clean channel, it gives you a little bit kind of nice sparkle, a little bit like a bright switch, I guess. Okay, well, let me uh, demonstrate and see what it sounds like. I'm on the clean channel now um, on the 6L6 setting, and this is like what that sounds like. So if I engage the boost, which will add crunch, yeah, uh, it sounds like this. Which is really cool. Uh, and if I'm on the lead channel, which is uh, going to be more gamey, mm. it'll add more distortion when I kick in the boost. Oh, cool. So it sounds like this. Great, isn't it? Awesome, yeah, so have a look at the tone. So, similar kind of vibe. If you kick the tone in on the clean channel, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit kind of like a bright switch, I guess. So okay. it just kind of sparkles things up a little bit. So, clean tone. Kick the tone switch in. Just 
just a little bit kind of sparkle on top end. And then on the lead channel, it's just gonna add kind of a little bit of fatness, I guess. Um, so. Kick it in. Sweet, really man. cool, really cool. So there's loads of versatility in the amp. You know, it's got two channels, but if you combine the boost and the tone, you've yep. actually got eight tones in total yeah, yeah, yeah. to play with. That's quite a lot. So, um, but let's have a look at the rest of the features. This is a really cool feature. Um, notice the power control. So obviously kind of valve amps, two amps tend to sound best when they're really kind of cranked. But obviously depending on the situation, that's not always entirely practical. But um, you can actually dial this back to half the wattage or kind of more bedroom friendly kind of stuff, I guess. You can really kind of turn it back to half a watt, which is, uh, yeah, great little feature. Yeah, good for home, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you've got some cool effects in here. You've got reverb, of course, and then you've got delay and you've got tremolo. And on the back of the amp, there's a, a foot switchable effects tool as well. And this, uh, this tremolo sounds really cool. Nice man, sounds really warm. Yeah, nice and, yeah, nice and warm. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So taking a look at the back panel, you've actually got a speaker out. So say for example, you're on the L34 setting, and you want to get that kind of full stack experience, you can run that into a 4x12 um, and really kind of crank, yeah, man, get the, crank it up. Yeah, and you've also got uh, a recording out, you've got a headphone out, and you've got a USB out on the back oh, as cool. well. So talking about the USB on the back, you can use it for home recording, you can use it for reamp, oh, cool, uh, yeah. reamping, and uh, you can also connect it to the editor, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So jumping over to the power amp selection, um, on the left hand side we've got 6V6, which is more kind of lower wattage, kind of think Princeton, Fender Princeton, something like a kind of deluxe reverb maybe, lower wattage, yep. kind of nice organic compression under the fingers. Then over to the 6L6, think maybe kind of more Fender Bassman, yep. uh, twin, higher headroom, stiffer under the fingers I guess. Yep. But if we have a look at the 6V6, like I said, it's quite organic, quite kind of spongy, yep. like a really kind of nice American sound. Really cool sound. What yeah, you, uh, what's on the kind of British side? Well, I've got so I've got on the British side. You've got the EL84s, which is kind of your Voxy AC30 kind of like, like toppy and you know yeah, Brian yeah. May kind of sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've got your EL34s on the other side, which is more your Marshall tone. So like think like six, uh, 59. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that kind of tone. So if I just give you a few examples of that. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, yeah, so you get that was great. the idea, right? Normally, I guess, you're kind of stuck with whatever amp it is you're using, but having those four different power amp selections is just uh, its a great way to experience different amps, I guess, isn't it? You know, having yeah. your clean channel, maybe as the American style, maybe 6L6 for that kind of pristine, clean stuff, yeah. through your kind of, you know, your kind of dirty, your kind of British stuff with the L34s. It's just kind of creating this kind of personal, call it dream amp, I yeah. guess. It's, All in one uh, amp as well. it's a really kind of cool concept. Cool. But anyway, anyway, let's just have a jam. Let's have a jam. Three, four...